This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in Association with Empire Fight Store and Forged Irish Stout. Sky Nicholson, fresh off the back of a, a lovely 10k jog. Uh, well, we got lost in London last week into Dublin Fight Week. I know already that you're feeling good, but we got to do it for the cameras. <laughs> excited to be here? So excited. Um, I honestly feel like this is the best I've ever felt in a fight week. I'm always happy in fight week. I'm always excited to fight, but no, I feel this one feels special. Um, I just feel I've never felt so ready, so prepared, and. Um, I've got a really good feeling about my performance this weekend. I suppose firstly let's talk a little bit about your activity because you have been massively active to the point where I think I saw you post something like oh, I have a week out of camp for myself but <laughs> a week um, is not much at all but you're enjoying it and obviously now you're in a great position you've got that WBC interim belt things are going as you hoped. Yeah everything's going to plan um, if things keep going to plan I could be fighting for undisputed in my 10th fight so Fingers crossed, but obviously not looking past Lucy Wildheart this weekend. Uh, full focus on the, the job at hand to go 9-0. and Ooh. Little lighting change there. Whoa, scary. <laughs> um, but no, I, yeah, I'm really happy with how everything's going. Everything's progressed perfectly. Um, I feel like I've had the correct learning fights. I've, um, I've had good ring time, and I feel like I, I get in the ring a better fighter every fight, and obviously that's, that's the main goal, so... Well, let's talk Lucy Wildheart. Obviously, last time out, that fight with Michaela Mayer on something like 36 hours <laughs> notice uh, gave a great account of herself, considering you know that you've got a tough ask come Saturday night. Yeah, 100%. I know um, she's probably going to be my, my toughest test as a professional. Um, we've prepared for the best possible Lucy Wildheart, and we've got an answer for absolutely anything she wants to bring on Saturday night. Uh, I think she's a, a great athlete and a good boxer. But I'm a great athlete and a great boxer, and I think the levels are going to show on Saturday night. What do you expect her to come out and bring to you um, that you haven't seen so far in your career? To be honest, nothing. I've, um, as an amateur especially, I've fought every possible style there is to come across. I don't think she's going to bring anything that I haven't seen before, um, and definitely nothing I'm not prepared for. And uh, I, I honestly know I'm going to have an answer for everything she's got, and... I'm better than her in every department, and that's going to show on Saturday night. Well, we see this fight land on a monumental bill. It is the rematch, Chantel Cameron versus Katie Taylor. Uh, I know you were in Dublin last mm. time for the fight. Um, excited to be a part of, of such an event. Obviously, so many eyes on it this weekend. And also, Katie Taylor, I imagine someone that you would have looked up to in your boxing career yourself. Yes, I, um, I'm so excited. I, the atmosphere the f for their first fight was just... I'd never experienced anything like it. I had the craziest goosebumps for the ring walks. Um, I've obviously looked up to Katie Taylor throughout my whole boxing career. And uh, I look up to Chantelle as well. I think she's a, an amazing athlete, an amazing person. Um, I'm excited for this fight. I mean, this is all or nothing for Katie, especially. Um, this is her, her redemption, her chance to, to have the homecoming she wanted the first time around. Um, and I'd love for Katie to do it mainly as a boxing fan because then we get to see a trilogy as well. Um, but she has a very tough task in front of her in Chantelle Cameron. I, I struggle to see anyone at 140 beat Chantelle. I think she's um, an amazing talent and yeah, Katie's got a tough task ahead of her on Saturday night. Well, Chantelle said to me that she wasn't happy with her first performance, which is mad considering she won and that, that she feels ten times better this time round. Uh, Katie Taylor saying the same thing. Maybe in for a better fight here in that. I think it's always going to be a better fight the next time around. Um, they've, they've shared the ring, they've gone to war together and now they know each other even better. They've gone back, they're sharpening the tools, they're working on what didn't work, they're practicing more on what they, that did work. So I think it's always going to be better the next time around and um, I think the fans win on Saturday night no matter what. Well, just a few more from me, um, back on, on yourself. Um, Knockout is something that's always been spoke about and we discussed it a little bit last week. Now, yeah. um, I sort of asked, like, the pressures, personally, I mean, when you're boxing as well as you are, do you still have that? But I suppose it's something that you maybe put on yourself regardless of what anyone else yeah. says. How, what is your mindset like with the stoppages? To be honest, I've, I feel like I've never really been a spiteful fighter, as you'd probably have gathered from watching my performances. I think I do have more spite now, um, and I do look to hurt my opponent more now, as you might have seen more of in my last fight, maybe a little bit in my last two fights, but it's never really been my goal to go out there and hurt someone. I know 
Um, it's the hurt game, it's the business, but for me, obviously, boxing in the amateur system for so long, it's just never, it's not been... Hit and not get hit. Yeah, hit and not get hit. Um, it's always been about winning rounds and winning the fight. And at the end of the day, it is, as long as I win, I'm happy. But um, obviously, I, I know there is that, that expectation and that pressure there, but um, it's not internally for me. Um, if it's there and I see an opportunity, I think I'm more experienced now to take that opportunity um, than maybe I would have about a year ago, but I'm not going out there looking for it. Sky, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social. Always a pleasure to catch up. A big fight this Saturday. A final message to your fans, because there's a lot of them and they're growing, yeah. <laughs> like, rapidly. <laughs> no, thank you for all the support. It doesn't go unnoticed. Um, I love all the comments and messages. The haters too, it's all right. You'll come around, you'll be Sky Vinick fans. You probably actually are. But, um, no, I, I thank you all for all the support and tune in Saturday night for a career-best performance.